Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Demon Souls. Last time we made our way through Stonefang Tunnel, at least the first level of it, and defeated the Armor Spider. We still haven't died so far, well not on purpose, well not by accident anyway. We did die a few times on purpose in the Nexus, but that was to be expected. We need to be in spirit form to be able to uh, work efficiently here. And as you can see, I'm already back in spirit form because what I did in between recordings was to actually uh, grind a bit for um, upgrade materials for my weapons. What I also did was discover a few things that I forgot about in Stone Fang Tunnel. I did manage to get up that very first elevator to get up top to those two miners that were tossing rocks down. And I forgot about that because they actually give you a weapon up there. That weapon is actually a crushing variant of the Battle Axe. So this is the Crushing Battle Axe Plus One. You can find that over there. You can just enable the elevator right then and there at the very beginning of the level. And what that actually does, if you check that out, is give us a huge strength bonus. So that changes the attribute bonus for strength from D to C. So now that gives us a 42 bonus, which is a lot higher than the 14 bonus we got from the normal Battle Axe. So the Crushing Battle Axe is already plus one as well, so that means that the base damage is 88 instead of 80, and the extra uh, strength damage is 42, which is a 28, well, increase from the older bonus on the default Battle Axe. Now, I still like the Halberd. It's a really good weapon. I know, I know we ended up with the uh, Great Club at the end of the last episode, but I want to check out if I can do something with the Halberd by upgrading it now that we have the materials. I forgot about the fact that I did need to kill all the miners. I was a bit too benevolent in my uh, original run through that level because a lot of the miners have actually uh, are carrying bags with upgrade materials. And if you kill them, you get all the upgrade materials. So now I had I a buttload of upgrade materials for the, well, the halberd specifically, but of course, most of my weapons. So as you can see, I now have 22 hearthstone shards which is a lot. Let's use a few of them to upgrade the halberd since that is right now my uh, hardest hitting weapon and I can definitely just spend a bit of souls on that because what I want to check out is how much I can actually get this to. So another six will put this to plus three giving us 124 attack. Now, aha, there we go. Now we get extra options. We could either go just to plus four and then start using large hearthstone shards, but we now also have the option to go to a quality halberd. And I think that just increases the, yeah, so the dexterity scaling goes from uh, E to D, which is not a lot because it even actually reduces the bonus that we're getting. Because right now we're actually at 160 power if we just put it to plus four. Now I feel like we don't get every single option here. So what I'm going to do is go back to Stonefang Tunnel and talk to uh, Blacksmith Ed instead of Baldwin. Because I feel like he might actually have a few other options now that we actually reached the plus three uh, threshold there. So as you can see I also picked up the item on the corpse over there in the meantime. I kind of wrapped up every single item that I forgot about in this level when we first went through in the previous episode. But let's have a little chat with Ed. Aha! So the fact that I can see the crushing battle axe here also indicates that yes indeed we have more options with Ed. So he can actually put this up to plus two provided I have greystone shards which I don't have. But, aha, uh -huh. how much do I need? Okay, so I wanted to turn this into a fire weapon, but as you can clearly see, I can't do that just yet because I'm missing one more Dragonstone shard, which is annoying. I don't think the Filthy Man actually sells those, so I'm gonna have to hold off. A plus three weapon is already pretty good, so uh, let's move forward with what we have. So yeah, as I told, he only sells Hearthstone and Sharpstone shards. That still is a you very difficult play? word. Yeah. Don't you agree? Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna play. So uh, let's get back to the Nexus. So I have two more souls that can, I can actually spend uh, and that should give us just enough. I might actually get a bit more, yeah. To add another level to our character. So let's just talk to the main in black. Upgrade our... I think I'm gonna finally upgrade Faith a little bit. Although Vitality as a Templar might also be useful. That gives us 14 extra points of health and a bit more defense. Yeah, let's go with that first. We'll move Faith upwards uh, later because I now actually know 
what I can use that for, because now that we've talked about weapon upgrade pods, that actually makes a lot more sense. We can actually make a fate weapon that allows our weapon damage to scale with fate, so that's where fate will come in, but that's going to have to wait until a little bit later on. Okay, so now it all comes down to our next decision. Do we venture into a new world, or do we try and take on the second stage of Stonefang Tunnel? I feel... <laughs> Very hesitant to going into Stonefang Tunnel 2, mainly because of the boss fight that awaits us at the end there. I'm not quite sure if we want to try that on just yet. I think I want to buff up my character just a little bit before we go in there. So, with that said, I think we might actually go to the Land of Storms. I might actually regret any of these choices. I think that my mind is made up. We're gonna head into World 4 first. Um, I might regret this. I know what the enemy types are in here. And I know that I really didn't like that level the first time I played this. But uh, we might actually be able to swap around our weapons a bit while we go along. And see how we fare against the uh, the enemies in the Archstone of the Shadowmen. Here we go to Island's Edge. Okay, don't think there will be any more cutscenes to these levels, so yeah, here we go, dropping right in to Island's Edge. We killed ourselves, which is good, so we are in spirit form, we did that already. And there's the Archstone behind us. Um, yeah, so if we move just a little bit for forward, we can already see our enemy over here. We saw this very level at the very beginning in the cutscene. Because this is the area where the character actually died. There we go, we actually have the winch. There we go. And we killed our first skeleton. The damage output is pretty good. We actually get some soul remains. And I think we could just use that to lure people over, right? Or enemies over, because I don't think soul remains actually give us anything. Yeah, serves as bait for the soul star. The echoes of the soul of an ancient hero that lingered where they were put to rest. So it lures the soul deprived. Because, of course, every enemy in this place actually took damage. I don't actually know why. Might have just been because he rolled into me. But, uh, yeah, I kind of took a little bit of damage. Oh, Jesus Christ, that scared the hell out of me. My controller vibrated really badly there, and that was really loud. Jesus. Okay, that was just the uh, just thunder striking. Lightning striking. Okay, let's grab this. Some more healing items. We'll definitely be needing those. Because these guys are not a joke. And I can't actually backstab these yet. There we go. Backstab is actually pretty good. They take a lot more damage than the miners in Stonefang Tunnel did. So with a backstab and a killing blow, we can actually uh, kill these guys off really quickly. Oh, wait a second. Oh, he actually uses magic arrows. That is interesting. There we go. There we go. Block that right in time. And then if we just go in the back, there we go. They look really, really cool in the remake, by the way, the skeletons. Because uh, these are some of the beefiest skeletons I've ever seen. Um, let's just whack this guy off the edge. Oh, I actually hit him behind me. Oh, I hate that these guys do damage by rolling into me. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Okay, there we go. First death of the series. I just panicked. I should have killed them in one go. That that was that was really good, but nothing nothing lost really. We got spirit form, so that's that's not that's not too bad. But yeah, very first death of the game. The skeletons. I knew it was gonna happen. I just lost my uh, composure there. And I'm really not used to the uh, slow weapon speed of the halberd, and I need to get used to it really quickly because otherwise we're gonna die even more. And there we go, backstab. Okay, calm down, kill all the skeletons. Seriously? 
There we go. So now we need to be careful because, of course, more skeletons are coming. There we go. And is that just enough? So a backstab with while dual wielding is actually just enough to kill a skeleton, which is really good. And we get blade stone shards. So I think that's just for dexterity weapons, which is not going to be useful for us. I do feel like we're getting a lot of souls out of this. Um, so two more skeletons up there. I don't know if these guys actually drop down or not. Are they dropping down? Doesn't seem like it. But they are in a really awkward position there. Because every time I come, <laughs> I've come close, they're probably going to try and kill me. So this is another hero soul. All these guys are trying to kill me. And then this is a talisman of... Can I go over there? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, I'm ju I just want to kill those skeletons up top first. <laughs> so this is one of those levels I know very little of, aside from the fact that, yeah, there's flying monsters in the air. So you can see those guys. Those guys can attack you. And then we have another vanguard demon over there. That's the same guy that killed us at the very, very beginning, if you want to count that as a death in this series. But this time we have better weapons, but... He has air support. Uh, there's also tunnels over here, so I might be able to just... Okay, kind of forgot about the trap there. There was a pressure plate over there. Uh, I think this leads right to that black skeleton. And I'm not sure if I want to tangle with that guy. Because I know he's super powerful and I'm still walking forward, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna have myself killed here. Because this guy has a katana. I actually do quite a bit of damage, but... Ooh, ooh, but he does way more damage. I'm gonna... Oh, I think I dropped off. Yeah, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal and then I'm gonna go back. Oh, shit! <laughs> He's already here. Okay. <laughs> uh, I wanted to go back, back to where he was, but... So, yeah, there we go, backstab. I think that the archers are also trying to kill me from where they are. I don't have any stamina anymore. Ah, there we go. Okay, managed to kill him. Ooh. Okay. So we can actually kill black skeletons, and this is a really good weapon if you have a dexterity or magic build. Because this is the Crescent Falchion. Fal Falchion? Falchion? It's a, a magic-based weapon, so it actually scales its damage based on your magic stat, which is not useful for us, but is a uh, very good tactic if you're just starting off with this game and want to just go straight to this world, um, roll past the black skeleton, because you won't be able to kill him that easily. Ooh, wow, there's a lot of... There's a lot of skeletons over here. I kind of underestimated this. There we go. So as we know, dual wielding allows us to kill these guys in one go, but we're actually out in the open, apparently. And then these guys are gonna have to... I'm gonna wait until they both fire. There we go, we killed... Well, we didn't kill them. Oh, I heard another arrow coming. So, but this allows us to actually move across the... I'm gonna actually keep my shield up, because I don't know if these, if these guys already attack these weird flying manta ray looking things. So let's go down into the other tower. I don't know if there's another enemy down here. There's another pressure plate down there, but if I'm careful, I should be able to avoid that and examine the remains. We got the copper key. I have no idea where this key actually points towards, but this these things definitely allow them to uh, fire arrows from. So let's not step on the pressure plate and go back down. Oh God. The skeletons are already in the hallway. Oh god. Hi. <laughs> he just stood there. I needed to... Uh, do a wheel there. There we go. He goes down. So we could uh, maneuver in the hallway. Okay. So next up is the Vanguard Demon. And I think this guy is the only guy that doesn't respawn if we manage to kill him. 
Jesus. But of course it is a big guy, and he still has those weird nipple things. Oh, and these guys actually attack as well. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. So every time these guys boss are gonna attack, um, this badass motherfucker is gonna try and kill me. I got hit by one of the... Um, yeah, by one of the manta rays. That is gonna be annoying. Oh! Roll back, roll back, roll back! I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I'm gonna go back! I'm almost dead. Okay, late Moongrass. I'm gonna go through all my healing items on this level, aren't I? This is not good. I still have healing! I keep forgetting about the fact that I can heal. Um, I wonder, can I actually get to that skeleton? Because that's another annoying one. Let's see. So now I'm in the tower opposite to that skeleton, but I think I can go down here, right? So let's ignore that. Slowly make our way. Aha! Okay, so now we're here. In the, the same tower that the skeleton is in. Oh, crap. Okay, move back. I'm gonna eat a grass. Yeah, okay, I got him there. The camera kind of fucked up, but... Lost another healing item. Should be able to buy them from a uh, certain merchant. Okay. How the hell did that hit me? Okay, these skeletons are really trying to, trying to piss me off. Every single one has cost me a healing item there. That is not good. So this guy... Aha! They are illusionary, illusionary walls in... Uh, illusory walls, that's the word. Illusory walls in Demon Souls. I need to kill that... Um, that skeleton up here. Okay, he went through my... Slam it up. Let's go down. Jesus. That was really clunky again, but there was another skeleton at the top of this tower, and it's not the archer, because he had a sword ready. And I don't think archers actually swap to a sword when it attack. Where am I now? I thought I was going to be right next to that archer, but... Ah, wait, it is. We're just around the corner. Just around the corner. There we go. Got him on the way down. Then we can grab this. Another bow with arrows. But, what is this? Is this the way to... Aha! Sparkly the Crow. Yes, I remember this. So we can grab the Augite of Guidance. And now we have Sparkly's... Yeah, spark can we actually see if there's anything in there? No. It's just a giant nest. So let's talk to Sparkly. So, welcome to Sparkly. So this is a recurring character in Souls games. If you drop shiny items, well, it's not the same in every game, but in this game, I think it's just shiny items, then you'll get something in return. So the item that we got before we actually reached Sparkly was the Augite of Guidance. A stone that briefly radiates light when exposed to the air, valuable as a rare jewel, but otherwise useless except perhaps as a shining guidepost. So if we um, select this item and drop it... Ah! I have it equipped. Ah, I can unequip it, so let's remove it from over here. And then if I drop that Augite of Guidance, as uh, such, yes. There we go, sparkly happy. And when we pick up the item at our feet, it's no longer, it is the Augite of Guidance. Wait, what the hell just happened? Do I need to wait a certain amount of time? This is confusing. 
So happy, happy. But if I now pick that back up, it's going to be... She usually trades it for something else. Do I need to leave this world and then come back? Yeah, because it stays the All Guide of Guidance. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's just drop it and uh, see what happens later on. So we're already pretty low on healing items, which is definitely not good. But we also have this hidden hallway downstairs. Which is usually not a good thing to have in Souls games. They're all so tightly packed. I didn't think that it was going to look like this. Because otherwise I would have picked a different weapon than the Halberd. Um, I'm going to die here, aren't I? So there's a skeleton over there who apparently hasn't seen me yet. And then there's another skeleton over there. So, hmm. You know what? I think I might be able to use a soul remains. Isn't that... Oh, come on. I specifically use the items to lure enemies. There we go. Okay, that guy's down. Did the other one go down already as well? No. We got a shotel and another bladestone shard. Let's put the shield up. There we go. Okay. Still, still taking a little bit of damage because of the rolling damage that they inflict, but we managed to survive. And there we have another fake wall. And this side actually harbored an item, and that is more Crescent Moon Grass. Okay, so we're getting healing items back at least. What the hell is this? This is not good, is it? Seems like we're heading into... Ooh! Ah, this might be where the Copper Key actually fits to. Uh, yeah, there we go. Copper Key. And there's a character in here. Hello? You... You saved me. Heavens, I can't believe I fell for that trap. I suppose I owe you now. I'm Blige, a grave robber. It's thanks I can provide you with useful goods. Who couldn't do with a little help down in these parts? Well, I could definitely use some useful goods. So let's see. Oh, he sells healing items. Thank you. Um, so he also sells a few nice enchantment items. The leather armor and the barbarian armor. But other than that, yeah, the healing items are going to be very, very handy indeed. I'm going to just buy a bunch of Half Moon Grass. Because um, I might actually lose these souls anyway. So let's buy 10 of those. Yeah, and that puts us back up to about 3,000 souls, which is pretty good. Uh, let's talk to him. This shrine was used in a ghastly ritual by an ancient tribe. They have long perished. And now the demons have put the souls to work. At least here you're killing things that are already dead. Lost skeletons and shadow lurkers. That's what I like about this place. Better than killing those poor soul-starved humans, right? Oh, that actually explained why the soul remains didn't work. The soul remains actually lure soul-starved creatures in, but the skeletons were already dead and aren't soul-starved. Okay, got it. So he doesn't have anything else to say. I don't know if I need to manually send him back to the Nexus. I don't think Nothing so. Nothing suits your fancy? Well, don't be too frugal. A bit of indulgence goes a long way. I mean, I've spent like 4,000 souls in your little shop already, buddy. Keep it, keep it in your pants. And then we get another hero soul in the corner here. And that's about it. So kind of indicating that there was another person here next to uh, Blige. Um, okay, that's that I suppose, but we opened up another hallway at the other side. So there might be more goodies over there, at least we have a bit of uh, a few healing items for trouble now. Oh god! Jesus, I need to keep an eye out on the floor. Ooh, where are we now? Are we inside the building that's right next to the, the vanguard demon? I have no... Oh, yep. Um, hi. No. Jesus. Those creatures freak me the hell out. I mean, you can kill them if you have a bow, but... I don't really have a bow. Oh, ow. Okay, my shield doesn't seem to do anything. 
Jesus. Yeah, there goes my healing items again. Oh, stop, please. Okay, I think there was a... Was there another item over there? I think there was, right? Yeah, they're gonna keep firing at me constantly now. And that's the Uchi Katana. That's also a very good dexterity weapon. So yeah, nothing we can actually use. Um, there's another item over here. A soul, and if you go... Down, is this the way forward? I kind of halfly remember this area. And we got Cloudstone shards, we don't really need those. There we go, just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep swimming, swimming, Jesus Christ. There's like crystalline showers all over the place, okay. Oh wow, this this building also doesn't have a roof. Does this provide zero protection? Let's move on, yeah, while the glass is shattering all over the place. Um, is this something? Oh wait, I can climb up this. Yeah, yeah, you're really you're really fancy. Okay, I got the first skeleton lured over here. And there, wait, go. And I really need to remember. There we go, okay. So, I need to remember that I actually can heal. So let's use this as our Okay, I'm gonna die. Oh, wow. I'm just gonna heal in here, right? Okay, so that does fill my entire health bar. I really need to remember that, because that's two free heals. I hate these guys. I really hate these guys, and I can't do anything against them because I don't have any ranged attacks at the moment. So there's another black skeleton over there. I saw him, but I want to take out this guy first. Do I want to fight another black skeleton? There's another... Ooh, there's another... Ah! Why is there no auditory cue when they fire? I did... There was no cue for me to know that that was coming. Okay, so let's go to the side. They are firing. It's behind me. But I can grab the item here. Okay. Now, I don't know what the skeleton actually is protecting, so I might as well try to kill this guy. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. I should probably go inside of his little room here, because it's going to give me a little bit of protection. So I like the jump. He actually makes himself pretty vulnerable when he jumps. And then I can just drain my stamina bar right into his back, and then if he jumps again... Because the jump is pretty obvious, although I might as well die to it now. There we go, again another backstab, and that should be enough to kill him. Because we can stab him a few times on the way up. I'm gonna stab again, just to be sure, okay. So that's that, just soul remains from that, but he was protecting an item. And that item was the Adjudicator's Shield, so I think... I remember that shield, is that the shield with automatic health regeneration? I think it is. So a large wooden shield, I hope I don't get hit in the background now, depicting a scene of the dead facing judgment painted with bright pastoral colors, an epigram written in an ancient script is carved into the back. The hero of storms shall never act in cowardice, nor shall he devour a single bird of the sky. If the dead fail to please the adjudicator's master, the harvest gold crow, their carcasses shall be gnawed upon until nothing but bones remain. Gradually restores HP. And the guy you can see on top of the shield is actually the uh, boss of this area, which is pretty cool. It only weighs 3.5, so that's only 0.5. Yeah, that's only a little bit higher. But does this have... No, it doesn't block 100% of physical damage. Which is the downside to it, of course. I don't know how good the health regeneration is, because I think... Yeah. That's actually not that bad. That is actually pretty good. I might actually run with this just a little bit. So I can't block fully anymore, but I'm still at 50% carry capacity. Um, I should go up the stairs here. 
Let's go up the stairs. This not the stairs, the the ladder. You know, the thing that is not a staircase. Okay. So on top of the building, of course, we're again very vulnerable against those uh, manta ray thingies. So I'm not going to spend too much time here. But item or healing items. Fair enough. I'm just going to go. Just going to go. Just going to go. Okay. Okay. Don't, don't really care about that. No fall damage. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. Stop firing at me. But I don't think I'll do enough damage to actually kill these things. Um, okay, so this is the part of the level that I hate. And I'm assuming that everybody remembers this fondly. But it's, yeah, the cliff face. The cliff face is terrible. So, we only have one way to go. We shouldn't be rolling too much because otherwise we're going to drop off. And of course this place is going to be... Oh, fuck off. It's going to be filled with skeletons. These things home as well, which is absolute horseshit. Okay, let's just move on. Yeah, because I'm getting battered by these mantle rays. But then, of course, we have these guys. Oh, fuck, fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna die. And I died. Yeah. Oh, that is absolute horseshit. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and kill the Vanguard Demon while I'm at it. I mean, I might as well try. I'm gonna get battered by the mantle rays and everything, but... This guy seems slow enough for me to just take out. Just need to work on my stamina management a little bit. I just don't get hit by the, um, the manta rays, because the manta rays are what, is what is fucking me up right now. So let's just heal up. And just go get back to it. That is just so annoying. Luckily this guy doesn't heal, so as long as I just... Stay pretty close. He's just doing his ground pound attack, which is actually really funny. He's trying to just shit sit on me. Yep, there he goes again. I just roll around a little bit. Just get out of the way of the manta rays as well. Trying to find him. There we go. There we go. Does that actually give me something, aside from like a thousand souls? Oh, it does. He does drop something. Yeah, there we go. The Great Demon Soul. I thought he dropped something. Okay, made it back onto the cliff face. With only a few uh, healing items down. But yeah, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this. I probably should keep the shield up, but... I don't really have a good attack that won't bounce off. Yep, or just hit me in the back. That's also, also a definite possibility. I think this is the first instant of one of those golden um, skeletons. He's actually coming closer. I'm gonna heal up and slowly make my way around this cliff face. Ow. There we go. There we go. But yeah, the manta rays are really annoying. Let's just get around the corner really quickly. Okay. So that's two hits. They're wide above me. That is really annoying. Come on, buddy. There we go. Back snap. But I'm almost down. I think one more hit of a manta ray and I'm gonna be down. Yeah, there we go. Got hit in the face. Got hit in the face. And that's 4,000 souls on that very annoying spot. I mean, I'm getting better at killing them. <laughs> uh, at least they're going down. But there you go. The Vanguard Demon is down permanently. So we can just cross the courtyard now. And the only thing that we really need to make sure that we don't get into trouble in is this little building over here. But as we saw, we can just basically skip past these skeletons. Let's lure the skeleton over here. Yeah, so he's coming. And then just go back and hide behind that wall. I think that's gonna be the safest strategy. Unless they come from, I mean, completely parallel to the wall, which is also definitely an option. There we go. Oh, that is 
Yeah, that is completely annoying. There we go, another backstab in. And that's another golden skeleton down, if I can actually see something. Good. Jesus Christ. Okay, is the barrage done? So I really want to get my souls now. I mean, if I hear the sound, I can actually react to it, but there we go. Let's grab this. Oh, I got killed again. Okay, never mind. It kind of hit me really weird there at the end of uh, a roll. Okay, I might actually want to try and run this. Because I want to get my souls back. I want to see where this ends. I think this ends inside of a building somewhere. So if I can run all the way up here. Because I need to grab their soul sword to actually do something. And I can enter the fog over here. And then we get absolutely face raped by whatever is coming, I suppose. That's actually only one Skeletor right now. There we go. That's one backstab at least. Because these gold guys are actually a lot tougher than the uh, silver guys. Uh, can we still get shot by these things? Seriously. That's getting a bit much, isn't it? Okay. Okay. So there's a few ways we can go. We can go down. And there's another pressure plate over there. So if I just hit this, then we get fired up on by a barrage of bullets. I should keep my shield up. And then this is protected by a black skeleton. But I think that is the boss already. And I can deal with black skeletons. So that's absolutely fine. Let's take another look at the other side first now that we're here. And we know that we can actually run past the golden skeletons, which is also good. So, anybody over here that wants to ambush me? There's a few more cloudstone shards, and there's another path over here. And that seems to contain a crystal lizard that is going to disappear, yeah. Okay, that's good to know for later. There's actually a... Wait, is this the starting area? Might actually be funny. Okay, so because I think there's a shortcut you can take if you really want to cheat the game and just head straight into the boss fight. Uh, which might very well be that. So that was pathway 1. Pathway 2 is up here. There's another item here and I think I heard another shot being fired. No, okay. And then there's an item right next to that beam over there. But I think we need to have to, we're going to have to do some balancing acts. Yep, keep firing on me. So, on the beam and then slowly but surely move over to the item over here. I think... Okay, that's a great purple swing. And we got shot upon again. But, never mind. I have healing. I can deal with that. Calm down. This should be it. Okay. So, let's see how the fight with this thing goes. Because I might actually die against this thing if I'm not careful. Um... Do I burn a Crescent Moongrass for this? I'm gonna burn a Crescent Moongrass for this. Just wanna be full health against this guy. Okay, let's lock on. And try to get this guy down. Yeah, I should have rolled forward there. There we go. That's one hit at least. I should probably do all wield. That's one backstab. I'm gonna have to need two because this is just gonna add some more damage on top of us. Already winning helpful. There's the forward jump and then... No, I can just hit him once. I'm gonna have to be careful. Come on, buddy. You wanna lunge at me or not? It's not gonna be it. Um, there we go. I think this should be it. I can actually, yeah. Can boost through his poise. And we got another soul remains, so not, nothing to write home about. Okay. 
boss fight, I think, if I recall correctly, or this might be just another section of the level. But this might actually be the boss fight. Let's go in. Yeah, there we go. Adjudicated. So now we need to be careful. The boss is all the way down there, but we need to get there first. Oh, and I dropped down a little bit too quickly there, but that's not too much of a problem. This guy can actually break down the entire level that you're trying to roll around. And this is actually... So you can see there's like a golden bird on top of his head. But they is basically invulnerable, I think. So the only thing that he can actually do is try and hit me with his cleaver. But I need to hit his cleaver. And there's a cleaver to his side. I can't really see it very well. There we go. You can see it bleeding. And I think if I hit that... There we go. I'm actually hitting... I should be actually damaging him with that, but... Or it might be that it's just going into a certain state. I need to hear flashy noises. I mean, it's lovely of the bird to actually call out attacks. There we go, because this cleaver is really big, you can't really see anything at this point. Okay. Do need to roll out of the way every single time. I can't really reach him from here. There we go. Okay, as long as you hit him there, and then we need to hit him on the bird. So two hands and give it everything you got. There we go. We got him for half his health, just about. So we just need to be careful to stay out of range of the cleaver. And then just keep hitting the piece of metal that's stuck in his tummy. There we go. Need to move backwards because of course the cleaver will hit me as well. There we go. And then if I get a little bit more stamina back. Um, I'm going to have to tree cycle him. There we go again. Oh, I love this, the vibration that that makes in the, in the controller. It's really weird to describe, but you can feel the, the cleaver pass over your head. There we go. Oh, I'm stuck behind him. Okay. There we go. And then the final time we hit the bird for all it's worth. And that's it for the Adjudicator. There we go. Whew. That was a very slow start, but eventually we did manage to get to the boss fight rather quickly. Just by avoiding those golden skeletons around the ridge. Playing smart, not hard. That is, that is the way to go. We did gather up quite a few deaths over there. And we get another storied warrior soul out of that as well. So uh, that's the first part of uh, the Shrine of Storms. Um, I'm not going to be continuing this this next time. I'm going to do another level after this because the next bit is just as bad. And we got the swollen demon soul if we touch the archstone over here in the doorway. And then we can actually move back to the nexus. Because we gathered up a nice amount of souls. So 22,800 souls is going to get us quite a few, uh, a few level ups there. But let's just first talk to Baldwin. And have our equipment bear repaired, because those might actually, yeah, take in quite a knock because of all the deaths. So let's repair that first. Almost a thousand souls to get everything repaired. But now, let's talk to the main in black. So stat-wise, let's just boost faith one time. Um, I definitely want to dabble just a little bit in magic, and I think I need to be 10 to get that. So let's slowly build up towards that, put it to 8. Then put Endurance up to 20, and then with the soul that we just got, I'm gonna put Vitality... Do I push Strength next? We'll see. Let's do this first. 17,000 souls down the drain. And now with the Consumable Souls, that puts us back up to 10,000 souls, which should... Ah, oh, just not enough for double the amount for two levels. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go into Strength first. Um, I still need 600 souls to move forward. I might be able to just get that. 
So eight is also not enough to, uh, eight magic is not enough to talk to this guy, so that's not gonna work. So I haven't seen Grave Robber Blige around and I have no way of actually getting more souls. So might as well talk to Crestfall Crestfallen Warrior to see if he has anything else to say. Yeah. Nothing. Okay, that's just the same old gibberish. So, hmm. Might as well dump a few things at Stockpile Thomas and just, I'm gonna upgrade. Do I upgrade to Halberts? So if I upgrade the Halberd now, I lose access to the fire uh, section of the weapon. But I think the Halberd might be a pretty good just heavy weapon as just a damage dealer, even though I don't have a lot of, uh, well, good scaling with this. But let's upgrade it. So Halberd, plus four, six Hearthstone shards and one large one. So that's Halberd plus four. That brings us to... 160 damage and then if we do that again we can just about do that again so another six hearthstone shards and three large hearthstone shards so that is absolutely that and afterwards yeah i need more hearthstone shards and more large hearthstone shards so but that brought us up to that is 172 damage that is pretty nice even though our scaling is still rather bad um yeah, it is what it is. We did spend a few more alive. souls, even though we still have a lot. I'll spend the last souls on Hearthstone shards from um, yeah Blacksmith Ed or the Filthy Man. And uh, we'll move uh, that forward next time. Because I'm going to take a little break. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode where I finally, f well, died a lot against the skeletons. Who would have thought? But I did get this fancy, uh, fancy shield to commemorate my victory against the Adjudicator Demon. Which is probably one of the easier boss fights in this game. It just does the same attack over and over. So you just need to circle him. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. And hope to see you in the next episode of Demon Souls. Goodbye. And stay nutty.